August. Tuesday. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 10.37 a.m. It's 10.37 a.m. So I'm taking my nails off because I got some hair coming today and I want to do my hair. Yeah. And like you always had that bonnet on. Uh -uh. Yeah, because I be in the house. Yeah. So um just wanted to come to y'all real quick. I've been like trying to debate on different things to like implement for my channel and stuff like that. And so I had wanted to do like shorts and things like that. And I was learning about shorts and stuff like that and it just really kind of put me in a space where like I'm like I don't know if I should be doing this I don't know if I should be implementing this or if I should be implementing that I'm not real big on social media so um as far as like having like a bunch of different platforms that I'm on so it just put a lot of doubt in me and I'm like you know what I know I'm not the only person that feels like this, especially when it comes to like other content creators or people that just pretty much just doing anything where they're like, am I supposed to be doing this? I feel like if you are thinking about doing it, then it's a possibility that you're supposed to be doing it. I don't believe that things just kind of like, I don't believe in coincidences. So I feel like if it's something that you want to do and it's something that um, you're kind of like on the fence about it, just try it out. You never know. Just just try it out and see. It doesn't ever have to be anything that's going to be long term. But if you give it a chance, sometimes it'll be something that you'll figure out and be like, you know what? OK, I actually do like this. Um, don't doubt yourself. Don't don't doubt your abilities. Don't doubt um, your strengths and things like that. Don't focus on things that you consider to be your weaknesses because I feel like a weakness is just something that you're not good at, that you're not as good as you want to be at it right now. Um, it doesn't have to stay a weakness. It doesn't even have to start off as a weakness. Um, it's kids who, when they first started school, they don't know their ABCs, and, and for them, that's a weakness. And then when they get out of preschool or kindergarten, they know their ABCs, so it's no longer a weakness. It's, it's only a weakness as long as you're not, like, trying to make it not be a weakness, if that makes sense. But, yeah, so I've just been sitting up here for, like, the last hour and some change, just pretty much just doubting myself, doubting what I should be doing, doubting if... Um, YouTube shorts are going to be worth it, worth the time, worth the effort and things like that. I want to grow my channel, but I'm not, I'm not really interested in like quick, you know, I'm okay with the quick, but I'm not really, I'm not focusing on that. You know, I, I like the growth of my channel. I like the, the momentum of my channel. So I'm not really like too bent up about like oh well you know i'm not getting this and i'm not getting that i'm very thankful for all the views that i get so i just kind of feel like a lot of times when you're on social media you'll start to kind of like compare yourself to other people and compare yourself to what other people are doing and you can't do that and so many creators will tell you not to do that but everybody does that everybody does that because it's like okay well it's working for them not why it's not working for me well a lot of these people that that is working for they've been on here for years and years and years perfecting their crafts so you gotta do the same thing it might not take you as long but you do still have to make sure that you're um perfecting your craft i just feel like so many people including myself miss out on so much holding on to doubt holding on to no that's not gonna work holding on to no that's gonna be a waste of time it might it might be a waste of time but it ain't gotta be a waste of all your time because you're just trying it out right now so it's okay to just try something out and see how it works it don't take a bunch of time especially if it doesn't take a bunch of time you definitely can just go and just try it out try something new something different something that's going to possibly put you in a different kind of headspace you know i just I'm like, I wanted to make this video because I've really been up since like, well, I woke up at like eight and, and I've been up like ever since like yesterday, I told myself that I was going to start posting shorts. Um, and then I got up today and I'm like, what are my shorts going to be about? I got a lot of stuff that I want to talk about. I'm not trying to come off as like a motivational speaker or anything like that. Cause that's not what I'm trying to be, but it's, it's. It's something in me that's pushing me towards basically 
talking more about the things that I go through because I know that other people can relate to it and I know that I'm not the only person that goes through the things that I go through or feel the way that I feel. It's just a matter of being able to convey the message and being able to get it through um, to people in a way where they're going to be receptive of it and, they're not, and it's not going to come off as combative and stuff like that. So I, I sit and I worry about my delivery because... I'm still working on that. I'm very much so like this is what it is. I'm not I'm not good at um sugarcoating stuff. And I don't think that's a bad trait, but at times it can be um especially when you're trying to get other people to go within themselves to kind of fix some things within themselves. It's like it's one thing to tell somebody like, "No, you the problem. You the reason why all this stuff is happening to you." It's another thing to be like, "Well, you know, you played a role in it as well. It might not have been the role that you wanted to play. It might have been a role that you gravitated towards because of the circumstances, but you still played a role in it. Two different ways, saying the same thing. So I'm very much so working on that, and I know I'm not the only person that like has issues, issues, if you will, with like making sure that their delivery is coming off respectfully and not so much combative. Um, I want to... I want to be able to add to this platform. I don't want to just be another YouTube channel. There are so many things that I want to do. Yeah, I want to vlog. I love vlogging. But I also want to have nice sit downs with y'all. I also want to be able to have chit chats with y'all and things like that because those are things that are important as well. It look like... Y'all in my business. So, so yeah, I ain't want to make this super long. I'm going to be coming with some I I'm not going to tell y'all that. I'm not going to tell you that. I'm just going to do it cuz I'm not I'm I'm done with talking about it. I'm about to be about it and I suggest that y'all do the same thing. Um wish you well today just like I do every day and I'm putting for the second. It's always one nail. I took these nails off. The nails look crusty. I'm going to get them together. But I know I'm not going to be able to do my hair the way I need to with these nails on. So I'm going to work on this thumbnail. It's always one nail. Always one nail. But I'm grateful for um, the fact that I could do my own nails. And I'm grateful for the fact that these are press-ons. And they easy to kind of pop off as opposed to acrylic. Because... I also got another style that I want to do. There we go. Got it. It's okay. So I got them off. So, so side note, these nails, they would have lasted longer, but I took them off because, like I said, I'm, I'm, I got to do something to my hair today. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. I'm tired of y'all talking about me. I hear it, and I don't like it. It does not hurt my feelings because they're facts, but I'm going to change that. I'm going to change it. I'll talk to you later.